Hey everybody, this is Grimcad here. Thanks for watching another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Um, I recorded an episode that crashed and did not record at all for some strange reason. I do not know why. So I will be repeating that character again. It was a uh, it was a fun one. It was an interesting one. I think I, I think I got it all figured out. So all figured out. We're starting our same basic character again, but we're gonna change a couple of things around. We're gonna pull one, two, three. Yeah, that's good. Points and pop them into dodging. We're going to name ourselves Christopher Walken. We're Christopher Walken. Um, unfor- what? Ah, shit. This is the same, same starting of our one other character. Hmm. That died terribly, moderately terribly. <laughs> Clean this in the last episode. I think that'll be okay. Um, I won't let it affect what I'm doing, even though it totally does affect what I'm doing. Wait, did I grab a long string or a glass shard? Okay. We are going to build ourselves. What? Oh, hell, I need more fabrication. We're going to build a sling as soon as we get the chance. So. Thing we're going to do right now. First we're going to take a little look see if the fungus has spread more. I can't tell. Yeah, it was way over here. No, it was way down here. Anyway. So we're going to run down. Um, slings are really, really effective. Like, I was getting more damage out of my Oh. Ooh. Out of a sling that I was out of, uh, like, at least that 22 with absolutely no skill in it. <laughs> with comparable range. <laughs> Which is the thing that, uh, oh wow, confused me the most. Yes, now we can, oh, no, we can't do it. No, no, no. Twenty threads. I have. Oh, it's gonna make me unload them out of my kit. Okay, now create a sling. Wield a sling. Uh, reload our tailor's kit. Uh, what? Drop those three slings. Pick up that baseball bat. So I'm telling you, it was really effective. Once I get this shit going, you'll be like, wow. My next character that I'm building is going to be a sling character. And, uh, no, even more so than that, the, uh, the damn thing you can't, you can't hear. It makes no noise. Oh, I thought I got more pebbles than that. Oh, okay. Wow, really? Okay, fair enough. 
Here, now I want to get in a fight. Bad. Who's this dog? Is this dog following us? Where are you, dog? Come here, you damn dog. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna save our marbles and use our pebbles. Ten damage! Ten damage. That was the first attack with it. And look, our throwing skill is up to 21%. That was a level like zero hit. Headshot, 26 damage. Crazy. So, we're using slings. We're getting that throwing high as shit. We're gonna be grabbing our throwing axes, our throwing knives that are down here. So yeah, I remember it's down here. So yeah, maybe I didn't really need this sling, because I had the other stuff. But I'm taking it. I'm still taking it. Look. What is that? A shrew? Yeah. Shrew dice. This is awesome. Our throwing is at 99% now. <laughs> Already. Increases accuracy and the range at high levels. Yeah, it looks pretty accurate. Pretty accurate already. <laughs> but anyway, um, our last character was much better. <laughs> um, it's a shame that it didn't record. Because we had everything. I picked up within my first three houses an atomic uh, coffee maker and an atomic nightlight. And I was just set. Set for life, I could tell. I knew. I knew. But oh well, that's the way that shit happens sometimes. Um, it was further down than this, wasn't it? Pretty sure zombie brute. Oh, it's close. Look, we missed it, but look at that crazy range. Zombie necromancer. Oh man, did all the zombies respawn? The ones that I had killed? They must have. Baseball bat? Yeah, just, just stay away from us. Just stay away. No, wait, because there was a military base, right? Or was it? I don't know, I don't remember. Hmm. I don't remember. It doesn't particularly look like I've been over in this direction. Ugh. No. No, yeah, it was way further down, wasn't it? Because here are the grocery stores and parks. Yeah, let's just keep on running. Keep on running. There's actually a run button now. Where you can run run. I need to find out what that is and start using it, I think. Uh, I swore there was a run button. I could be lying. I do that sometimes. Yeah, I don't think there is. It was all a dream I had. Um. Yep. <laughs> Okay, never mind, never mind. It's all good. It is all good. Yes. Yes. What, uh, what is that? It's a moose that wants to kill me. Oh. There's even a fire going on. 
that may just last forever now? <laughs> Don't know. That's right, we had those throwing things on us when we uh, died. Here, let's where'd that moose go? Oh wow, the moose ran away. I'm surprised. Hmm. I am looking rather morbidly for our corpse. There it is right there. Wow. Human corpse of Ron Noise Gilbert. Welp. I guess there's absolutely nothing keeping me from stealing all this shit. I'm taking it because I'm crazy. Because fuck that shit. Mm, that duster is pretty beat up, huh? We can drop this baseball bat and wield this thing. Hmm. Pick up that cell phone. And unfortunately, butcher the body of our predecessor. Why was there a power storage CBM Mark II? I never equipped a power storage CBM a Mark II. There's a burnt out bionic too? I never put bionics in. Yeah, we're gonna leave it. There's a zombie dog. Wield our sling. Fire pebbles. We missed. Pebbles. Yeah, kill that zombie dog. All without attracting any more attention. Wow, so this is interesting. <sighs> I think this is gonna... Oh no, it looks like it is actually burning up. Okay. What all can we drop? Drop, drop. Drop. Throw this rock. It's way fucking far away. <laughs> I missed whatever direction I was throwing it into. Drop the matchbook. Where are the bandana? Where are the bandana? Where are the riot mask? Drop the duster. Ah, ah, ah. Drop the clean water. Probably shouldn't have thrown the rock. Because I still want to use the sling for, uh... Well, do I want to use the sling? Alright. Marble does three damage. Sling does six on top of that. A throwing axe... Deals 16. A throwing knife does 12. I guess I don't really need this sling anymore. I kind of want to use it. <laughs> Home. Danger. So what I'm going to do now 
Oh, see, that's even got the fuel in it, but no battery. Interesting. Let's take a look at our map. All right, what I'm going to do is do a little scouting right now after I eat. What shall I eat? Canned chicken. Nom, 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 nom. What else shall I drink? I think our drink's more right here. A gallon of tea. It's slightly old. <laughs> so, like I was saying, what I believe I'm going to do is I am going to skirt around the edges of this place. I have my binoculars, correct? Yes. I don't need the pocket knife either, do I? Let's just drop the pocket knife. There's a bear. Stay away, bear. Okay, you're ignoring. That's good. And what I want to find, what I really would like to find, rather, so light's glare makes it hard to see. Yeah, you can quit spamming that. Is a library. I think someone has been here before. Hello, RV, but we did not take. I want to see if food respawned. It does not appear so. Okay. I was slightly concerned about that. It's kind of actually cheating-ish, but... I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll with it anyway. Um, you know, I shouldn't have died to a damn rat anyway. <laughs> After killing a big old zombie like that. Hmm. I mean, you know, I... We probably shouldn't have attacked that big guy. We did. Hey, sunglasses. Awesome. Fit over sunglasses. What a crock of shit. Okay. Killed two children. A Swiss army knife. Hey, look at that. First time I've seen one of those before. That's pretty cool, actually. Got a lot of little tools. We can activate it. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All the normal shit. Yeah, these are like really nice houses around here, I'm just saying. Nice big old open floor plans and all. <sighs> Guess what I see? A library! So, I'm gonna clear out. Did it get a hit on us? Is that not making us sad? No, it's making us sad. Oh boy, we're in an orphanage. And that's not depressing. What were we doing more damage before? Maybe not. Maybe not. Two throwing axes, one throwing axe, one knife. 
Um, go ahead and I'll drop the sling and I'll wield the hockey. Sorry, that probably sounded terrible over the uh, headset. Uh, didn't we? No, I didn't even get the quest. That was my last character. I had a quest to get an American flag. Saw a Rottweiler, which I did not want anything to do with. Nope, just a regular coffee maker. Let's grab. I'm gonna eat a cucumber. That cucumber was delicious. Man, I. There's not a lot that I need to find right now. <laughs> and it feels pretty good. To be frank. Because I had put a lot of hard work into that <laughs> other character. <laughs> Let's see. Skeletal dog. Ugh. Those are annoying too. I love throwing things. This is just, it's nice. I don't know what else to say. This is nice. Oh, we took a hit right there. Okay, we made a little bit of noise breaking that glass. Zombie was having a little bit of trouble. As long as we make sure to grab our stuff. I feel as if that's pretty important. <laughs> Ooh, a flotation vest. <laughs> Alright, let's head downstairs. Spiders. Why did it have to be spiders? <laughs> huh. Let's see, safe, basement. Spiders. Okay, and let's walk up to the north. I'm going to try to actually make it. Hmm. No, no wheels. Knee high boots, interesting. To the library in this episode and perhaps back our throwing doesn't seem to be rising as quickly now that we're actually um, throwing things. Hello, Rottweiler. That feels really, really good. Like, really, really good. Once we get some headshots, like, consistently, that are, like, legitimately doing damage. I don't know what that dude's deal was. Uh, yeah, I'm going to feel really good. Now, eventually, of course, we are going to have to get our gun skill. 
There's um, no fighting it. Power converter, plutonium. So, okay. Clean water, clean water. Uh, sure, might as well. Well, actually, grabbing is probably not the best thing to do. Since I want to be able to grab books. So, let's just drop it. Mark, this is safe. Head up to the peak. Parlor. Zoom out. No big threats so far. Okay, we had to do the clothing store instead. Excuse me. What is this? A bulletin board. Create camp. Oh, I'll mess with that a little bit later. I don't. Fuck is that? Ah, it's a mannequin. <laughs> I uh, I freaked out a tiny little bit. So you can turn this into a a follower camp. I had a viewer mention that they were like follower camps and stuff. That'd be interesting. Now I don't actually want to throw anything at that zombie because it will just burn it up man we can get hmm, several hits in too you know, it seems to cost fewer action points than using a gun, which is pretty nice. So is everything racing towards me? Yeah, that means we're just going to wait here for a while. No, not everything's racing towards me. A, an antique store. I mentioned before that those are really nice as well. <sighs> what else is here? Another grocery store. Lots of grocery stores. Sometimes you don't always find the grocery stores. Sporting goods store. That can be useful. Gun store. I see it in the middle there. We knew about that one before, however. All right. Can make a little bit of a break. Okay. I'm going to fight in the car. Because it ah, we got bit there at the end. All right, come on, smoker zombie. Okay, freaked out. Stop butchering. Yes, shrieker zombies are bad. Uh, spotted? No. Approaching? Yes. Okay. We're going to back that a little bit. Oops, sorry, hit the mic there. We were just waiting that last little bit. He dropped a submachine gun. We're still waiting. We are boomered. Ah. I'm going to take a step back because I 
canvas sack, huh? Interesting. Don't want to destroy that gun, okay. That's all right. We're not afraid of what's going on. Still doing all right. Put trap these corpses approaching. Yes, we will stop. Okay. First aid kit on our right arm. Zombie approaching. Yes, we will stop. Butcher, heard crash. No, we will not stop for a crash. Go back to. Yes, we will stop. And down towards the dog. So, so satisfying. <laughs> he barely miss. Wow. 40 damage headshot. Ugh. More smoker zombies. Okay, but we're still doing all right. Decayed zombie. Decayed zombies are a little slower than other zombies. Pick up all our throwing weapons. Whoops. Still doing all right. Oh, we didn't get any. We didn't get any of the good stuff. What a shame. Let's close this car. Go ahead and. Oh, did we. Oh, did the bite take care of itself without getting infected? If so, that's really nice. Open the doors. Crawling zombie. You're going to get axed. And then... Knifed. Ah, what is this here? Something big came through here. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay. Lot of nice books. Um, they look like a lot of high end books. Okay, so we're gonna get the book on. Two books on cooking. First responder. And loader's helper. Complete trapper. <laughs> Home repair. 
do it yourself. Nope. Sewing guides. And we are going to hightail it out of here. Safe. Now I suppose that the sling, while it apparently does less damage, a bit less, does have a longer range and all that. Um, one good thing about it, however, is that it does not have the weight or the volume. You know, each one of those is five pounds, three volume. Well, I lost a throwing knife. I had five when I started. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Oh, well. I suppose that happens. And I, you know, I can always make a sling. <laughs> and your throwing does go up a lot slower when you're actually throwing rather than using a sling. You know, supposedly, like, when I think of a sling, I think of a sling shot, but a uh, historical sling, where you sort of whipped it around your head and all that, was actually a fairly accurate weapon, you know? It was used for hunting for, you know, a long time in prehistory. I, uh, I don't see it happening myself, but uh, if you're using anything to hunt, you know, and you're not using it to hunt big bear or deer or anything. You're using it to hunt rabbits. You're using it to hunt squirrels, things of that nature. You got to be pretty accurate to hit something that's, uh, yeah, hell, the size of a cat or whatever. Uh, it just seems interesting, you know. I might, why is that road home? Cut that out. <laughs> Makes me want to whip out a sling and get awesome with it. Just just because. <laughs> but it's an interesting thing to think of. You know, like I said, I know I think of a sling as being this horribly inaccurate one in a million uh, weapon that if you get, you know, a hundred guys with a sling, yeah, maybe somebody will hit. But luck <laughs> is going to be the biggest factor in whether you hit somebody or not, but no, I mean, apparently it's a legit weapon. Oh no, huh? Oh, indeed, no. Drink some tea, eat some stuff. Let's see. Books. I'm going to go ahead and drop some books. We will drop our Swiss Army knife too. We're gonna go ahead and put it hmm, right here. I guess we kind of need to use it to uh, do any crafting. And the first thing we are gonna do is start reading so awesome. Because if we can get our tailoring up, we can start getting to a point where we can reinforce all of our uh, armor and clothes, which will make us a little bit more survivable. That's generally one of your first steps that you should make with a character, is uh, getting everything fitting so there's less encumbrance. Mm, excuse me. Although all the stuff that you actually start with should in fact fit. We're going to drop the nightlight. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to see this far, but yeah, we've established that already, I suppose, haven't we? Have a midnight snack or a two o'clock snack. We're going to go ahead 
and go to sleep. And hopefully not die in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's goal number uh, number one, I suppose. Even before the crafting, you should try to get a place where you can sleep without dying. In my opinion. <laughs> Drink some tea. Eat some fishies. Let me go ahead and read some of this. So awesome. Yay. Hmm. It only increases it to level one, however. Just failing to learn recipes, just left and right. I'm just pouring over learning how to do this cross stitch. That's a thing, yeah. Oh, we can make a pretty sundress, hooray! <laughs> and a fedora and long underwear. Man, this is gonna take all damn day, isn't it? We can make panties now and briefs and boxer briefs. Eat those better fried fishies. Yum, 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 yum. Tomato soup. Mm. Mm. Let's just go ahead and grab our jugs and fill them up with water now. Auto saving right as I drop that. What? Why did it not fill up that thing up with water? So strange. Let's uh, start a fire and boil up some water. I suppose I already have one on me, don't I? Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just making a batch of water. Um, I don't think I have that much to hold, but let's try five. Okay, let's make a another batch of water. Or just another water. Okay, regardless. I now have some clean water. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, can we learn some more recipes? I do not have the skill to use the recipes that are left. What is left? Let's see, a pair of work gloves. Okay, fair enough. What next? This is about the first responder, which will make our healing... Oh, uh, requires healing level three. Wait, did it? No, we can bring it. We can bring it up to six. Requires level three, I see. Well, anyway, we should actually read through all of these books to make them no longer red. So we do not accidentally pick it up twice. Oh, survival's another good one. We should probably read pitching a tent. Ah, there's another sewing one, however. Drop, drop, drop. Uh, drop, 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 drop. Keep, drop, keep, drop. Let's take a look at sewing. You can bring your tailoring to six. Mm, requires level three. 
Um, it's got a lot of nice things in there. Um, padded leather armor, chitinous armor, AEP suit. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's some sort of environmental suit. Thermal electric outfit. <laughs> okay. Bone armor for everything, it looks like. Flame resistant socks. Okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, and you can build a tailor's kit. Fair enough. Let us read pitching a tent. And bump this skill up, and then I think here we're gonna call it a session. It's starting to get dark already. I guess that's... Did I sleep all day? I don't remember. Let's see. Let's eat some soup. And some chicken and dumplings. Okay, guys. This is where we're going to call it for this episode, I think. Um, this is Christopher Walken. <laughs> and we are some sort of dodging genius. And we're getting to be a throwing genius. Where our marksmanship get up? Oh, I must have counted as using a sling as well. Yeah, we didn't use a gun, did we? No. I might really have to pick up a sling then and see if that increases that. Because marksmanship, obviously, the guns, when you get to the higher powered enemies and you might need a higher power gun. Survival getting there, cutting getting there. Eh, sort of. Melee, eh, sort of. Bashing, fabrication, cooking. Hmm. Doing pretty good. We are in a fantastic spot right now. Thanks to uh, RN Jesus. We are living in the house that was claimed by Ron and the Noise Gilbert. We found his body as well, and we butchered it. <laughs> Let's not put too too big an issue on that. I should probably go through some of this stuff next time as well, because like I can use these gloves and boots, even though it's a little bit uh, busted up. Anyway. This was Grimcad. Thanks you for joining me with another episode of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. Um, this is the first episode in a little bit. I feel like I'm not ending it super pissed off and angry. So hooray! Anyway, like, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace out.